Well, this kind of sucks. As you can see, there is water pouring out of this trailer like crazy. And that's largely because there's water pouring out of the sky like crazy. So I'm working on a project now where we're uh, trying to make an assist setup for this trailer. You can see there's nothing on this side. There used to be a big crank setup, and I'm starting to mount springs on there. So what I had done over here on this side is I made a roller, and then I welded two little uh, upright tabs on there. I'm going to focus this thing if I can. So there's a bolt that goes through there, and then there's a roller on the outside of that bolt. bolt. So when this comes down, the cable will push against that roller, and then uh, that'll allow you to pretty much take this entire huge gate up and down with one hand. It actually works pretty well. So it's got a garage door spring. It's right there. And all this is going to go inside of this tube, which I, I'm going to have to cut down. And then the tube will stop here, and it'll stop right at the end of there where I've got that set up. Bolts will go through. That'll hold the spring. And when this is up to here, the other end of the spring won't come out of the other end of the tube. So it'll be fairly safe. So if the spring breaks or the cable breaks or something goes on it, all it can really do is fly forward a little bit, and, and that's about it. It won't go sideways or whip another car or, or something like that. The downside is, is right now it's raining like crazy, so I kind of put my project behind it a little bit. Because, let's see if I can show you what I had to do on this one here. Hi, Chad. How you doing, buddy? Okay. Focus. There we go. So I had to weld that on. As brutal as that looks, it's going to hold. And then I weld it under here, and weld it on top, and then I weld it over there. You can see I got this side here welded in, and that's welded on the bottom, all the way around. Basically, it's just the living crap welded right out of this thing, so it's not going to go anywhere at all. This rotates, so when the cable actually does come down and breaks plane, it drops right about here, and then we'll push up against that. So it can't, it can't get off in this thing. So this isn't in the tube quite just yet, but it will be. Springs got loops on both ends. That's awesome the camera for right now. Probably using about the most, the least safe setup as I possibly can. So there will be a bolt that goes straight through here, and then it goes into the, uh, the frame of the trailer, well the, the rail anyways, and that's what will hold the spring on this end. And then we'll have another one that will also act as a guide on the other end. As soon as I can weld up the other roller to this side here. And the rain's starting to let up. Watch out, Ted. Dropping the gate, buddy. That'll go a little smoother once I uh, can. Well, you know, the rain's got to stop. So I loosened this one up. In preparation, oh, this is my drill bit. Nice. Loosen that up for preparation to drill the, uh, the hole through here because this is where my upright has to go through. So I got that at 35 and a half inches on both sides. So you can see the line on the other side. But that's where the spring is under tension now. And it's not under so much tension. It's gonna. These are just garage door opener springs. And that's well within the range of where those things can go. And as you can see on the other side, Touching my piece there. So I'll see, oops, can't block it, otherwise that's no good. So if I bring this up, it's not as easy with one hand. There you go. So you can see how that comes down, makes contact, and the roller rolls. This is definitely a lot better with two springs on it. I just discovered that.